Hello, welcome to Mine Raider. This is my PS4 Minecraft recreation of the PS1 Classic Tomb Raider, all 15 levels recreated in Minecraft, all completely on the PS4. Uh, that is the end of level 11, also the beginning of level 10. Same room gets used in both maps, but today we are doing level 12, Sanctuary of the Skion. Right, so let's go. This is a huge, and I've already seen a little. Well, that was an awful shot. This is a huge level, but not really much to do in it, really. Uh, there's not lots of rooms, but the ones that are in are huge. Um, spider out that's outside right this room you, you will come back to this in the end right at the end of the let this level 12 you will come back back to this room um right let's go it's gonna be absolutely full of evilness oh sick of spiders jumping on my head scaring me right getting ready for a fright Nope, none about. Right, this is the first big major room which I did show in at the end of me level 11 walkthrough. Right, again, another little cheat in Tomb Raider. You could jump to that ledge, but I've blocked it off so you can't jump to it. Right, let's go up here try and get the one and only secret in this level first if I can so we need a emerald key for that and a diamond key for that I see a few baddies down there already there's one right we've got a lever over there with the white skulls and a lever over there with green skulls the door with the white skulls is over there and the door with the green skulls is down there. But I'm going to attempt to get this. There's another one down there. Because if I'm going to get as many enemies as I think as I'm going to get, I will need these guns. So hopefully I don't fall. Oh, what have we got? Musies. Nice. Right, that wasn't good. Right, let's get the Uzis on straight away. I can hear spiders everywhere. Whoa! That's useful, the Uzis. They've got a good punch on them as well. Uh, right, which way have I got to go? I'll have to go this way first. This is what I loved about Tomb Raider when the game first came out. This this level just is what I love. Is like you you're down at the bottom there and you just look up and you go, how the hell do I get up there? And having to find your way around the platform and was one of my favourite bits in Tomb Raider games. Which in the new Tomb Raider. Um, On the PS3 and the PS4, it did have that which I did like, but there was a lot of stuff in the new Tomb Raider that was missing that I didn't like, but I did love the new Tomb Raider. Um, right, I'm forgetting where I'm going here. I think I need to go right to the end, don't I? Yeah, I, I absolutely love the new Tomb Raider, um, but there was a lot of stuff missing out of it that didn't quite make it or feel like a Tomb Raider game like the the puzzles were absolutely awful abysmal there was no swimming which was one of me well it is my favorite gaming moments 
when jumping into the water for the very first time in Tomb Raider. Right, there's the green skulls. Um, right. right. I need to go back across here. I think I can jump down actually. Um, yeah, one of my favourite gamer moments was jumping in the water for the very first time in Tomb Raider. And it didn't even have it in the new Tomb Raider, which was very disappointing. But even still, it was an awesome game. I loved it. Right, we will go and switch this switch first, I think. Or should we just go straight for this one? We'll go straight for this door, which is now opened. Is that a chest down there? No. So what we need to do is just shimmy out without falling and shimmy across. Um, oh yeah, I do need to go down first, don't I? Right, we've got a bridge that we need to jump to. But first, come down and get the key. Skeletons about. I think they're outside. I hate this jump. Right, please do a first go. Yay! Don't hate it that bad though. <laughs> Throw our gold key in there. Whoa! Uh oh! I should have had me use these ready. Oh yeah! Wow! And we get our first key, which is the emerald key. Which is for the top of the Sphinx. Um, right, we need to go back this way. Again, I will have some life, because I always forget about putting my life on. Well, I remember. Yeah. Didn't even have to jump in the water. Nothing in there. Alright, there's going to be lots of enemies here. I can just tell. Ooh! We can get back up there, but we've got to switch the switch over there. Let me do a first got time ever say I hate that jump. But it didn't work. No! <laughs> oh, hey love me life, flipping heck. In fact, no, I'll keep that bread. I'll use some of these up. Come on. There we go. This is not, well, the actual uh, blades that shoot across like that are in Tomb Raider, but the lava isn't. I decided to add the lava to have a, have a bit of jeopardy. Um, only added it the other day after playing level 7, which has got lava in. So I've added the lava to make it more difficult. No! Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Right, oh well, that was, uh, <laughs> that was silly of me to add lava. Shouldn't take too long to get back. I can regret adding the lava now. <laughs> Which way are we going this way? I 
don't think maybe other, any other beds are in this actually. Slide down here and back to the bottom. Right. I'm just getting ready for loads of enemies here. Now this is the door that will open once the whoa. Once the keys are being placed in the top of the Sphinx, that door will open. Uh, we need to get to that white door, which is how do we get there? I've forgotten. Is it that way? I've forgotten how to get off. Yep, this way. Ow. Sounded painful. Ah, no, I could have gone. Could I? If I come around. See, get lost up here. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job. I needed to come down here anyway. I think that's going to have to be my catchphrase. I needed to come down here anyway. <laughs> so many videos. Um, yeah, yeah, so we're going the right way. I just don't fall here. There we go, up here, up here, up here, and into here where we can't get up, so we will have to get a shovel. Which will, oh that's where we've got to put the sand. I keep meaning to say on all my videos actually, uh, after doing, I've, I've done level 30. Team, was it? Yeah, level 13, at the end of level 13 I said um, some of the little blocks are disappearing when I dig sand. It was the second video I put up actually. Um, and it's actually being fixed in an update. I read one of the updates and it said about uh, blocks were disappearing. So it wasn't my fault, I tried everything to try and fix it. And it wasn't even my fault, it was the game was bugged. So that's being fixed now, so all the blocks are appearing when they should, when you dig them. That falls down. Uh oh. Nope, too many lights. Maybe I should take some lights out of there. A little bit of jeopardy. Yeah, too, light, too many lights in there for enemy to appear. Right, we've got our two keys. Go this way, which is the shortcut to get to. The top, I think that skeleton was down below. Right, we throw our first key in. There. We throw our diamond key in the front. Now that has opened the door down below, which I'm trying to think the quickest way down. will be this way I think and there we go right here we've got for the first time in Mine Raider we have to drink night vision because that water down there is so deep you cannot see a thing so we have to drink night vision potion 
so we can see into the water. Even with the night vision, you can't see much inside the water. You can see a little bit better, but once you surface, and you can actually see how big this room is. There's a couple of other night vision potions about as well. And chests. And them uh, circular glass and light glowstone things are for air because it is so deep. Again, it's so deep you need oxygen to reach the bottom. So they're like air holes for you to breathe. And they make it quite uh, good to see the stuff in front of you as well. There's a better vision through the glass and the water. Right, I forgot. Oh yeah, I need to just go straight down. Where's... Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad idea. Let's go back up through the water, through the... Let's go straight down. There's some of that while we're floating. Open this door. Have a breath. Oof, just about. And we swim through this tunnel. A bit of a long tunnel. Have another breath here. And this huge tall room here to get all the way back up again. Opening that door in Tomb Raider. Have a breath there. Um, we're supposed to drain and you get flushed out into this all the way up into this room that I'm about to go into now and you get flushed out all the way here so what it's done in Tomb Raider is empty the big huge room of water but obviously we, in Minecraft I've just got to or Mine Raider just got to swim through it all and we come back into the room that's now being emptied of water. Took the thing out of, did I take the thing out of there? I think I did, didn't I? I think that's broke. That should have uh, removed that from there. I'll have to fix that. Um, right, we need to get down without dying. Whoa, that didn't help. But we're okay. Alright, for now, come right down to the bottom and we open the lever with the emerald blocks. It's a bit of a huge room, this. The door is between this one's legs. Who misses? Right. A bit of air just in case. Oh, it's not too far up. Now oh, is the winding staircase that goes on forever and ever and ever. I have I forgot to put the health in these stairs actually, but it's not too bad. I've got quite a bit of health, so I'm okay. These go on forever and ever, and still go on forever. Wee, two of these ones. Get the eye of the ender. Right, there's just going to be evils here. I know it. Is that? Nope, we're good. Right, there again is we're back to the beginning of the level. I'm going to make them doors shut so you can't go back through, ooh, whoop, through there, but whoop, I'm going to run. Well, that wasn't very good running, was it? Um, and we throw our Eye of the Ender into there, which opens these doors. I think I need to take some health. Just sounds too many enemies about. Near the end now. Yay! It's a good job I look through there. Oh, you little... No! Yes. 
Come here. Where are you? With your pink armor on. Come here. Chain mail. Go away. He doesn't want to die. There he goes. I think there's more in there. I better be careful. safe whoa no we're not there we are this is coming to the end open the chest get out the star and we're good to go and that's where two made it ends but I've put follow the secret passage down to the smugglers cove so this is just to get from one uh, level from level 12 to level 13 which I've already posted up level 13 uh, you have to run down to this little cove here it just made to look like a little bit of a cove and then take the boat and follow the boys to Natla's Mines or Nat Natla's Islands which is the next level which is Natla's Mines uh, swim out he's staying in his boat now um, so you just follow it was instead of putting a train track it felt a bit more in keeping with the game having to go to an island it's a bit slow the boys are good though look at them stuff I don't crash me uh, boat I don't want to be swimming it It's a bit of a trek, but I've still got me night vision on as well, so we can see at least we can see into the water. I don't I don't like using the night vision because it, it just ruins the colours of brightens up all the colours of all the levels and they don't look how you mean them to look because it, it it just I don't know. But as I say, for that last, for level 12, I had to use it because the water is so deep. Here we go. And we're coming up to level 13 and 14. And 15. Oh, and there it is appearing. I'm not, I tell you what, I'm not rolling back just to show you the uh, the end sign. So, jump out. Oh, there goes my boat. Right, well, I've already loaded up uh, level 13. But thanks for watching. Uh, that was level 12. <laughs> uh, sanctuary of the Skion. Um, I'll show you it again. There's, that's level 13 there. There's level 14. The tower for level 14 and then level 15 going off to the left there again thanks for watching and goodbye